Guys, today I am in Ridgeways in Nairobi and I've come to Kiri MV. This is going to be a very interesting episode, so you've got to stay tuned in. Hi! Hi! How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Trudy? I'm amazing. Mm -hmm. Tell guys who you are. Hi, my name is Kathy. I'm from Electric Drive Africa. Mm -hmm. um, I've invited Miss Trudy to view a startup based right here in Kenya. So, welcome, guys. First, thank you so much for inviting me. I really appreciate it. She's the reason I came. So I'm so thrilled. Awesome. Thanks. Come in. Thank you. Many people know they, we have a few electric cars in Kenya, but electric motorbikes, many people don't know about that. Yeah, it's funny, but they're actually coming up. It's not very um, mainstream. It's mm -hmm. a bit niche at the moment, yeah. but give it a few more months and people will be talking about it advertising and marketing for it so i wanted you to meet a particular player in this industry who does electric bikes mm -hmm. electric scooters for uh, last mile delivery and even just for let's say going from point a to point b amazing yeah amazing yeah when you told me it's electric motorbikes i knew i had to come yeah because i feel like that's something different you know things are changing so yeah i wouldn't miss it for anything nope <laughs> glad you came okay all right let me introduce you to chris so trudy this is chris ceo and founder of kelly ev limited wow he can tell you everything you need to know about electric bikes and scooters thank you you're welcome hi chris how are you i'm fine welcome um, to Q. sorry welcome to Q. oh thank you so much can i have a seat yeah, have a seat please <laughs> um, wow uh what is kiri ev so kiri ev is an electric vehicle company mm -hmm. um, we specialize with two wheelers and three wheelers um, right now we have a uh, two-wheeler motorcycle on the market and they're all fully electric. Yeah. Fully electric? Fully electric, running on batteries, no petrol. Okay. Yeah. The world is really changing. It is. Who would have saw it? I know, but you know this is the way the world is going, especially with the whole carbon emissions rising, air pollution, mm -hmm. and so, you know, this is just a natural progression. So who are you? So I'm the CEO and founder of Q. Mm -hmm. um, this is, uh, I'd say, passion project, something that's close to my heart. Um, I've been in the renewable energy space for the last six, seven years, since about 2014. Um, you know, uh, what I was doing before was, you know, Pico Hydro and renewable solar backup systems. But we felt this was a natural fit for the company just to progress into the, the EV space because we felt that it's an industry that's gonna grow. You know, all of us, every one of us, no matter what we're doing, who we are, in some way need to travel. So whether it's walking, uh, riding, cycling, driving, all of us use some sort of transport. And you find most of us, you will, especially here in Africa, we all use uh, border borders mm -hmm. to get to it from the stage. So if we can electrify those, put a bit of money into their pocket, my pocket, and clean air for the city, you know, everyone wins. You seem so young, but then your words have so much wisdom. Uh, yeah. Are you looks deceiving or no, are you actually no, no. an old person in a young person's body? Uh, you know young is relative. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, hey, if I was to show the, the age of uh, the tarmac I've done in this city, mm -hmm. I'd probably be looking like a mate. Really? Hey. So you mean you've tarmacs? We've you know, done work in this city. I've, I've done a lot of hustles before I really got into this. You know, I've, I've gone from selling cement, selling fuel, Hey, we've sold anything and everything you can to make money. So it looks at you now. It's it's a matter of experience. All of this is a combination of years of work and experience. Um, and I'd say really focusing on what my passion is. You know, <clears throat> at some point you have to give up 
trying to make money and pursue your passion and hoping that passion will make you money as well. Yeah. I really love how you're talking about how much you've turned out. You know, it shows that, you know, nothing comes easily. Yeah. You know, you keep working hard, you don't give up. Even this, I mean, it looks like we're set up, but you know, this is the beginning of another struggle. Mm -hmm. and, and for me, I'd say every struggle that I've done before this has always, has always been, uh, you know, when you're young, you're looking for money for the weekend, mm -hmm. you know? So your hustles are Monday to Friday so that, you know, Saturday you have something. But as you get older and as you get wiser, your hustles now become maybe one month because now you're looking for rent and food. And then, you know, you start progressing from there, maybe you want to buy a car, so your hustle has to be more long term, you need something that will sustain you. And where we are now, this is a business that I want to build that will be there for the next, you know, God willing, 100 years. Yeah, I feel like this is so, actually the future. Yeah, so this hustle is not now your Monday to Friday or your monthly hustle, this is now, this is for me, this is a 3, 4, 5, 10 year horizon to the point where maybe it gets big enough and I can hand over the day to day running to someone else. And wow. enjoy those fruits of the lake, but you know. I love how you're thinking ahead, you yeah. know. So this is Kiri EV Limited. Yeah. Why the name Kiri? Um, so my middle name is actually Mokiri. Oh, okay. And, and you know, Mokiri in Kikuyu means the quiet one. Really? Yeah, so um, <laughs> I took out the MO and uh, put the this letter as Kiri. And it goes well with the company, huh? It goes well with the company, and then it was also a bit of energy. If you're going to build something, you gotta put your name on it. I know, but right? Also make sure that I make sure I put something quality up there. I feel like it was the destiny because guys, yeah. his name means <laughs> quiet or silent. Yeah. And then this motorbike, silent, silent kind of motorbike. Like, that's pretty dope. Yeah. So uh, you know, the, the stars are aligned for it. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Are you called Mukiri? Leave a comment and let us know. Anyway, that's my bike outside. Yeah, that's Can we cool. continue? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you decided to start this up yet we have many youth in Kenya saying there are no jobs. Why why didn't you just sit and complain? You know? Uh, how did you just decide let me do this? You know you just can't you can't sit forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At some point, you know your 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 actions is what uh, gets you your reward. So I mean the way I always see it, your your effort, whatever mm -hmm. effort you put in, uh, the reward you get is is, is you know, what will sustain you okay. so why i did this and also part of it is also we're hoping to bring manufacturing back to kenya um, and it's Amazing. a way of creating jobs for the youth as well because i mean um my most of my team in fact we're all under 35. really <laughs> yeah um other than the one or two advisors that we have in terms of business because you always need a wise old hand to guide you through mm -hmm. um and the mentors we have but most of us are all under 35 and i feel it brings energy into the into the into the business you know people who are young who are vibrant who are people with ideas that they're not constrained to the old way of thinking and they want to you know new ways of doing things new ways of thinking new products new innovations they're very open to those and want to bring them to the market yeah, but as i said you always need an older wiser hand someone who will guide you through the process because I mean, as much as i know and as much as tom act there's still things i don't know there's still something else someone has seen that I haven't seen yeah. and you need to learn from that and that is always my ethos always try to bring all of that experience and try and use it as if it's my own I love the fact that you're creating employment we, you, you know there are no jobs so for yeah. someone to come into the market and create employment that's amazing Yeah. where do you get your products from? so you know through our research uh, we found that the best combination of our products is, is bringing bits India and bringing bits from China um, and I say this because the best the best build in terms of like some of the best builders of, of motorcycles are in India that's where the, the industry is big and those are the biggest units but in terms of the latest tech and cost of electric a lot of that is coming from China so we, we're bringing the, combined yeah, we're them. bringing the best of the two together into one product okay so what you do is you bring spare parts then you bring combine yeah. them or you buy a motorbike from india so what we're doing is well, right now we we've, we've initially started with bringing bikes but now we are customizing like i said because of our testing we're bringing a bike that's now customized to kenyan kenyan roads kenyan user habits kenyan riders. you know michael jovan said kenyans are peculiar 
and to a certain extent I agree with that the way we use things the way we do our things is yeah. very unique and very different exactly, yes. so that uniqueness we're trying to build a product to cater to that amazing so do you think a time will come when we'll be able to even make this pair parts in, in Kenya yeah and especially the government is doing much increasing local content um, so you know, usually you can't just say what stop imports and, and do everything at once uh, you have to build up local capacity and expertise so what they've done is they've said certain bits have to be manufactured locally and they've given timelines on when those bits should now be sourced locally and um, what we've done and what we found from our for our product is you know an electric bike and a petrol bike are very different how so, that, that's actually a question i was going to ask yeah. you what's the difference between an electric bike so in terms first of all petrol you know, electric, uh, normal bikes use petrol, uh, fossil fuels, uh, and then that combustion engine, and that runs it. With electric, it's, it's all electric, uses a battery that powers a motor. But even when you look at how they're built, a normal a petrol motorcycle has about anywhere between a thousand to a thousand five hundred parts. So, you know, bolts, uh, wheels, all those things. When you look at an uh, electric one, it has about 60 to 100 parts. So what we found is we can source about 40% of those parts locally. 40% um, locally? Yeah, 40% oh, wow. of those parts can be sourced locally. Okay. So what we're trying to do is work with suppliers and making sure that they're able to meet, uh, one, the quality that we're looking for, and, the su and, and suppliers without any interruption. Okay. Um, and as we now graduate, we're hoping to increase maybe that to about 60%. Right now, the, we know there are parts that still the technical capabilities are not yet there in Kenya. But within the next five years, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to make some of those bits. So for those who, um, it's actually their first time hearing about electric motorbikes, how would you convince them? What are the advantages of using electric bikes instead of the other kind of bikes? One, you see that one that just passed. Mm -hmm. All that noise. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, wait, so you mean electric bikes are not noisy? Completely silent. The only wow, thing you'll hear that's so cool. is, the, is the sound of the road. So, that's so, the cool. Cool bit. Um, mm -hmm. so they're completely noiseless and then also you know uh, um, petrol ones also you know, complicated you know in terms of there's a hand clutch foot brake all of that this is an automatic so within I mean if you've got good balance and you've ridden a bicycle before it'll take you about five minutes and you're, you're good to go mm -hmm. yeah so learning learning process is, is it's quite simple yeah it's quite simple um, and then also in terms of now cost efficiency. So price-wise, we're aiming to be competitive in terms of price, so there won't be that much of a price difference. But in terms of your running costs, you'll be saving money in terms of your day-to-day -day running costs. So saving on fuel, saving on servicing, and you know, it's, it's a much better all-round experience. Yeah. Okay. The noise that you're talking about. Okay, so if someone gets an electric bike, um, how do they how do they maintain it? So maintenance is pretty simple. The, the key components that you really have to look out for are the battery uh, and the motor. So the battery is just like uh, your phone battery. All of us have phones, and we all know how to take care of our phones. Yeah. Um, so it comes with a charger. You plug it into your socket. Actually, you can you can charge if you have an outside socket. You can charge it outside. But most people don't, um, and they're still building that capability up, so you can charge it inside the house. You can take out the battery, take it into your house, and charge it overnight. That way, one, uh, one, you are sure of the security of your battery, uh, and, and no one's going to run off with your bike as well. Um, other than that, in terms of cleaning it, uh, obviously because it's an electric bike, we try not to use the power hose, but you can just wipe it down and just keep it clean. But maintenance is much easier. You don't even have things like air filter, oil filter, brake, oh, you have brake pads. Um, but those other mechanical bits changing all, you don't have any of those. Nice. Yeah. So say I charge my electric bike in the morning yeah. and I'm, yeah. you know, riding it during the day. How long will it take before it's over? So depending on how you're riding, um, usually the average is about 70 kilometers. But we found it's that... It's about how many hours? So, I mean, you can't really say in terms of hours. You can say maybe 70 kilometers is the distance from here to Thika and about two thirds of the way back. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, Thika is about 40 kilometers away, so it's, it's 
quite a good distance. Um, but depending on how you're using it, um, it's like your phone. If you have all your apps open at once, the battery drains quickly. If you have just one or two apps or the main apps open, it'll get you further. So you're talking about having many apps open. What features are you talking about? So, I mean, you know, obviously the main feature is driving the, the, the motor. Mm -hmm. But we also have other features just like we have, uh, you can be charging your phone while you're riding. Impressive. These other motorbikes are not like that. Yeah, they? most of them don't have that. Okay. And then we also have a Bluetooth MP3 speaker that you can oh, nice. go play in your music. So the more of those you have on, obviously, the more it drains and you know, having your lights on. But it's not actually, well, it drains a lot. Mm -hmm. But, you know, obviously, you, you want to keep those for minimum when you're, when you're, riding around but you know when you're parked and just enjoying yourself yeah have them on. okay so about how much does an electric bike go for so we have three different models our cheapest model the scooter starts at about 95,000 Kenya shillings mm -hmm. and then goes all the way up to about 150,000 so the next model up from there is about 125,000 and then 150,000 yeah. impressive yeah. so they're quite affordable quite uh, competitively priced with, with your normal bikes or what you get in the market. So, you know, here in Kenya, I don't know about your country, leave a comment and let me know, but in Kenya we have so many bike people, we call them Duthi. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, carrying people everywhere, you know. Yeah. So, have you gotten um, customers from these guys? So we've been testing with the, the border border guys, yeah. and they they love it. Um, oh really? For them, they see they see they know it's a future. Oh, yeah, because it's even gonna help them save a lot. Yeah, I mean, for them, they can see where the savings are in terms of um, fuel servicing. Oh yeah, like when you have an electric bike, you don't have to keep fueling. Yeah, you don't have to keep fueling. It's just a charging. And, and so do you actually think it's actually cheaper yeah, to to yeah. charge it than to keep fueling? Yeah. So how we've worked it out, it will be cheaper to run on on electric than running with on petrol. Wow. Um, and this, obviously, at the end of the day, you know, if we're talking business, these guys are in business. They're, they're small business uh, oh, people. Yeah. So for them, it's, it's how they much need money. To save. Yeah, yeah. And how much money are they left with at the end of the day? Mm -hmm. If we can leave them, we know, um, with an extra two, three hundred bob. It may not that's seem something. much per day, but over a week, over a month, over a year, that's it's a, a lot, lot of money. money. Yeah, yeah lot that's money. quite cool. So if you're thinking of buying a motorbike, buy the electric motorbike because that's where you know things are heading that's the future also i, I know people who have you know businesses where they deliver stuff around nairobi yeah. this is also perfect for them right this is this is even better for them because you yeah. know for them they're corporates and for them it's always bottom line bottom line bottom line mm -hmm. so for them the savings are fantastic um, and it's and it's 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 a more predictable business model for them because they know how much they're spending on on uh, on, on electricity and it's not like uh you know we, we know how things work here sometimes you give someone a thousand bob you tell them to go put petrol they'll actually put it and then they'll siphon it out wow. you can't siphon electricity <laughs> you know so yeah. you know whatever 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 electricity you bought is actually going to be used in the use of that uh, vehicle that is so cool yeah. That is very impressive. Guys, what do you think about this so far? Do you have a business? Have you been thinking of buying a motorbike? Do you think this idea would work for you? Leave a comment and let me know. So, someone is in Kenya. Um, they have an electric motorbike. What are the requirements by the government? Um, so, standard is just getting your motorcycle license. Mm -hmm. um, once you have that um, and you've passed all the tests and it's valid, then you're good to go. Oh, nice. Um, usually, you also need insurance for the, for the motorcycle. Um, that's which is standard by law. Um, and then the other stuff is just getting your normal safety gear, you know, your helmet, your reflectors, uh, boots if you want them, and just making sure that you're safe in case you fall. As in it's easy you know it's not it doesn't seem complicated to me no, it's very straightforward and huh, guys my favorite thing about this whole thing is the fact that you know it's environmental friendly yeah tell us more about that so one other than you know people always say there's noise pollution and then mm -hmm. there's also air pollution so one we've cut out the noise pollution Man, because that, 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 that's, that's just yeah especially you know those ones you're sleeping in town you're laughing at skin uh, you know, you know, you're walking by the road and then these loud ones are just passing yeah. you're like what's going on you know so, no, that is gone and then two there's also that smoke uh, exhaust fumes that come from that that's mm -hmm. also gone. so yeah. it's completely free and, and the aim is you can also get government on board in the next five ten years 
all our bikes are electric. The air in Nairobi and oh, it's cold. Oh my god. Yeah, and, and you know, I mean, do we have yeah. someone from government <laughs> watching? I know no. guys in parliament watch my video. Please pass this motion. We need to move forward as a country. I feel like it's a it's a good step towards the future. We've already gotten rid of you know paper bags. Nairobi yeah. is way cleaner than it used to be. Now the next step is this one. You know, yeah. um, get electric motorbikes. Noise pollution in Nairobi. Oh, you guys, can you imagine how quiet <laughs> Nairobi is gonna be? And then the air. You wake up in the morning and the air you breathe in is just like. I am looking and, forward to those know, days. It's perfect, and you know, the, the, and the health benefits are not just to the people exactly. who use them. It's, it's to everyone in this whole city because. You know, people who have asthma is because of you know pollution or cars. So if everything is clean, you know, there's been less of those respiratory diseases and, oh, and those yeah. conditions. So it's 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 a, it's a no-brainer. It's a winner all around. And you know that, that also the good thing with Kenya, if you look at Kenya, about 80% of our electricity is produced from renewable resources. So from hydro, from geothermal, from wind, from solar. So if you look at the whole value chain, it's almost all entirely green. And that will make us one of the greenest countries in the world oh, if we can move to man, this. Everyone will want to come to Kenya yeah. because everyone will be talking about how Kenya is, you know, clean, quiet, just a beautiful country all yeah. general. So, man. That's the way to go. <laughs> that's the way to go. Congratulations like on what you're doing, man. <laughs> Thank you you're so actually much. doing amazing. Thank you so much. And um, I'm totally encouraged. I hope you're encouraged watching this video. Uh, yeah, let me know. Do you have electric motorbikes in your country? Which country are you watching us from? Um, and, and to anyone watching, feel free to pass by our showrooms and just come and yeah, test for yourself. Uh, where where do they find you? Where are you located? So we're located on Kiambu Road in Nairobi, Kiambu Road uh, in Ridgeway Springs. Mm -hmm. and, and anyone's welcome, just come, ride it for free, you know, feel that rush. Of, Gotta be of, careful, uh, man. You're gonna cry yeah. so many people here tomorrow morning. Yeah. Like, again, for a free ride. No, you know, the thing is, you know, once once they ride it and they love it, they'll want to buy it. Yeah, that's why I got mine, man. After having that ride, I was like, yo, I've gotta get, I've gotta get mine as well. So, parting shots, any parting shots? Um, one, would just like to thank you guys for coming and checking them out. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a pleasure showing you around and see what we're doing. Um, and, and to everyone watching, you know, it may not be that you're turning green uh, from bikes, but whatever you can do to save the environment, to make this world better, um, because that climate change and pollution is the biggest challenge we're facing as a generation. Mm -hmm. You know, the generations before us fought for, you know, freedom. You know, they fought for expression. We are now fighting for clean air, for a better future, a greener earth. And this is... This is, I'm, I'm challenging everyone to pick up this mantle and, and fight for it, because this is the big thing. And if we don't fight for it, it's not just us who will suffer, it's our children. Man. Yeah, our parents will be gone. It will be our children. It will be us and our children. So. Hey, we don't want that. We don't want that. So yeah. thank you so much for your time. Thank you too. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode as much as I have. So I can't wait. Um, I'm waiting for you for for him to confirm that you guys gave him a call. <laughs> I'm gonna leave his link in the description box. I love you for watching. Bye. <laughs> guys wait we ain't done we're talking about electric bikes so word of the day is electricity electricity is an english word which means steamer in swahili so don't forget that steamer in english means electricity i hope you like it yeah